I'm very excited to announce that I'm teaming up with Mr. Humble. He has a Facebook group chat called Madden Competitive Gaming. Link to that is in the description. If you want to get some good games, some good competition, want to lab with some people who know what they're doing, go check it out. Just send an invite request and you'll get invited. It's a whole lot of fun. Been on there for a couple of days now and it's been a great community. Make sure to check it out and have fun watching this video. If you're just starting on Mat and have no idea how to get coins, this is the video for you. I'm going to show you how to make coins. If you have practically none, you need about 10,000 coins, but you can get those by playing solo challenges and everything after that is going to be a straight W. First off, I want to please ask you to subscribe because I'm doing these videos daily from now on for at least a week. I'm going to do beginners, beginners tips maybe twice a day. I, I'm, I'm going to try to put up as many beginner tips as possible. So if you're new and you want to learn about Madden, this is a channel for you. Subscribe if it's for free uh, and it will support me a lot. Now let's get over. Um, I'll just give you a quick overview of uh, the ultimate team screen. The missions, they just show you what you can do in a given promo and they show you kind of like where you are at, how many stats you have got. Uh, they give you the idea of how to get Mudmaster and, like, and stuff like that, but it's not that interesting so we'll just skip it. Solo challenges, those are the first ways of making coins, I'm going to show you which are the best in a second. Uh, seasons and knockout tournament or weekend league. Our online modes, you play against people online. If your team is not that great, you're not going to have too much fun though. So that is something to keep in mind. Draft, you draft team, you don't need an ultimate team for that. You just need coins, it's about 15 or 9,000 coins, I think. And you can play with the team that you draft with ultimate team cards. But it's not your ultimate team. And you get coins from that if you're good. And it's a good coin making way if you're good at the game. Squads is just a way to play with your friends. It's not that good coin making wise because it's very similar to seasons. And if you want to make coins by playing online, just play seasons. Store. In the store, you buy packs. On the auction house, you buy players. Very simple. It works that way with pretty much any uh, market game, any ultimate team game mode. It's got here the team. You can um, manage your lineup. You can do sets. We'll talk about that in a second in, in the method. Let's, let's now talk about challenges. Um, some of the best ones to start out with are those uh, rivals ones. Let me actually go up there. Rivals is good. And then it gets kind of interesting what you want to do. I recommend you guys go ahead and start the weekly 50. Why is that so good? I actually still have to do mine. Uh, because if you get to um, 52 stars, you get a 91. I don't know actually. Let me think. Let me think. You no, know, you get a fantasy pack and you can get 90 to 92 overall, I think. But I don't know the exact overalls. Anyways, you want to do that, you get a pretty good player for free. And then after that, it gets going. Or we keep going. You want to go to NFL Epics, get two cards, or get to um, how many stars you want to get to? I think 120. I think you want to go, to get, go to get to 120. But uh, if you do that, you're gonna have a chance, or if you complete these things right here, you're gonna get a chance uh, to. My bad, not live his child. Let's maybe go to one that I've completed. Jack Youngblood. If you get enough stars, you're gonna unlock. I think you get 40 stars. You unlock this epic moment, Jack Youngblood. And then if you complete this solo challenge, you're gonna get an 85 player, which is pretty good to start out with. Now, obviously, it's not at the top of the game right now, but it is a good way to start. Um, you always want to do your level challenges because you get a lot of coins from that. I still have to do mine. So probably not smart of me to say that, but level challenges is good. So just to recap, weekly 50, uh, do NFL epics and level challenges. Now, if I had to recommend you guys one more, it is generally a good idea to do the promo solo challenges. So this how the uh, how the crouch one mud mess, okay? And then. You go ahead, you do those challenges, you often get players, you often get the specific, uh, how do you say, currency, this time it's snow, and it's just a good way to keep up to date with the newest cards, a lot of the times it's going to give you some uh, players for free, but that's for another time. Those are the challenges I recommend you guys doing. These legend ones, uh, they just take a lot of time, you don't really get that good reward of it. Team of the week only makes sense if you started all the way, or if you went all the way, if you started in week one and then are still going only then does it make sense superstar mvps they're kind of outdated team affinity yeah i guess they're good i guess they're good i'm just really lazy with my solos this year but if you want to do team affinity it's decent how to make kickoff uh, it's already past the win or it's already past that man club championship i really haven't looked at them but i don't think that i could yeah you just get 
you get a couple of coins but it's, it seems like it's very high time or it's a very high effort nevertheless those are the whole challenges let's now get into the method and for this you're going on at least 10,000 coins the more the better obviously but you can do with 10,000 coins you want to open up 20 that's usually what I go for sometimes I go for more I go for 40 let's just say we start with 10,000 coins we want to buy 20 of these get a player packs and what we will do I'll just open up five right here and then you're gonna see we're gonna pull a lot of golds which is very nice because a lot of these golds are very high priced um, and even if you pull the worst one a silver you can still sell that on the auction house with no loss so you have the chance at pulling some like this 84 raw richest humor goddamn seems like they know they're, that I'm recording a video um, but if you do that um, you, s you get the worst pull you still don't lose any coins and you have the potential for stuff like that happening so that's obviously awesome and even though that's only 70 overall let's be cautious it might be a good pull because a lot of these cards are expensive for theme team purposes a lot of people want to make teams uh, that only feature players from one specific team in the NFL and this is going to allow us to make some coins if we pull some of the more rare cards once again we get another legend another 84 all right so now let's go back and the first thing i do i would recommend you guys to do is uh, take out a sheet of paper this is my exam in spanish so i'm not gonna do it on that paper but yeah why not let's just uh can't... i'm gonna find a paper i hope you guys all got your pen and paper uh class is in session just kidding i know i'm funny but we want to start off by going through all these prices we will not note them down so we're gonna go to filter we're gonna filter by quality let's go to 62.65 didn't pull in 62.65 but we see they sell for 550 coins now that is a minimal loss very minimally if you can make such coins on the worst pull possible you're gonna have a good coin making method All right, so now if we go back to the, the to the players with a P, not a B, to the players we just bought, then we want to always filter and see. Okay, first off, we're gonna uh, R2 and then flick the left stick down to newest. As we see the newest cars we just bought or we just got. And let's just start with Ethan Postic. You wanna check every single card. Now that is time consuming, but we can see Ethan Postic goes for 2,300 coins. Now that is way more than the 60, and uh, then than the other 65s are going for. We're not 60, way more than the other 67s are going for. But because he is needed for the theme team, he's worth a lot of coins. They're not always going to sell. That's one thing that is sometimes annoying. Not a not always are you going to have somebody online at that exact moment uh, who is looking for that guy for his Steelix theme team. But this guy right here, my God, is that expensive. So you see how we have some opportunities to make coins. We just have to pull the right players. And even if we don't, we have a free roll because what's going to happen? We're going to lose 50 coins. Yeah, I'll take that chance any day of the week. So let's, let's go to 14,000. And... We bought this player for 500 coins. You see the potential. Now let's go to Chris Hubbard. I don't think Chris Hubbard is that expensive, but we'll see anyways. Yeah, it's not that expensive. So what we do, do we do with those cards that are 70 to 74 and 500 coins? We're going to save them. We're going to put them in a set and then pull another card. We'll see where this goes. Um, this guy really probably is not going to cost too much because he doesn't have a th uh, team chemistry. And yeah, that's a bummer. So we can also put that guy in a set. Um... Generally, you want to put those guys that are uh, silvers and they don't go for too much in sets. Let's just put this guy. Is he on the uh, Ravens team? Yeah, he is. But he's probably not going to be needed for the team team. So let's just go with 900 coins. If he sells, that's great. We made a profit. But we're not going to make too much coins of him, off of him. So that's, yeah, that's whatever. And we just go through every single one of these 650 coins. Nah, it's a little bit too. That's not enough for me. I will keep him. And then put them in the set and maybe we get a chance to get a more expensive gold. 900 coins, that's probably something I would sell. I mean, we're talking about a silver right here. If you can sell it for 850 coins, you're going to make about 760 
coins back after tax, EA takes away 10% of the price that you sold them at, uh, and that's EA's tax. So you're gonna lose a little bit of coins whenever you sell uh, someone to EA, but you're still gonna make a profit. This guy right here, 750 coins. Nah, I'm gonna keep that. A gold for 750, 750 coins. I'm gonna keep that. I'm gonna keep going. And then obviously we still have the big boys, 84s. Um, this is taking a long time. If you want to see me um, show you all the profits I made, then go to this timestamp. And yeah, see then. But you're just going to keep selling these. And that is one thing. It is a very grindy method. It, they're not going to have big hits, even though I just had a lot of big hits compared to them. Or when you think about that, I bought all these players for 500 coins. But it's going to take time to pull all of them up. And that is one thing that you have to bring with you. It's time. You're not always going to pull 284s. Which would be amazing if you did. But it's just not going to happen. That was random chance. But I'm going to take it obviously. I'm going to take my coins. And then this guy right here. Alan uh, Lazard. He only goes for 700 coins. Damn. I thought he might be a little bit more expensive. Because he has a power up. So maybe he's needed. But yeah. It doesn't really seem that way. Quan Williams. I've searched him a lot. Doesn't seem like he's going for too much. Hey. He actually is. Um, so 74s, I think I'm gonna sell that for 850 uh, coins. Um, yeah, I feel, feel I feel pretty comfortable about it. We're gonna search uh, Kiko Alonso, and then I'm gonna show you what to do with cars that you um, cannot sell in a moment. So we're gonna just gonna search Kiko Alonso. This video is going on for very long. I appreciate you guys sticking all the way through. All right, my bad. I don't know, sorry, huh? I thought I was searching Kiko Alonso or whatever. All the way to the right, Kiko Alonso. Please go for some man. Boom. If you get 3,000 coins for a card you play, paid 500 for, you're going to make a lot of coins. So I'm just going to put him up for 3,300 and see if he sells. If he doesn't sell, just uh, repost. Really, that's it. Just repost. And now we're going to go to the sets and I'm going to show you what to do with plays you cannot sell. We're still going to we're still gonna use them. And yeah, so let's get into it. We're going to go all the way to exchange player exchange now we're gonna start with this I'm gonna be very careful and I'm just gonna select the newest ones that I've got because I checked those with these cars there often is the big hit potential we're gonna get in a, a really expensive card actually you know what I don't really feel comfortable about it. I don't feel comfortable but I don't remember checking all these guys I'm gonna have to check them because there's a lot of there's some very big hits in those and I don't want to miss one of them but this, these ones I feel pretty comfortable about. So we're going to go by news. And all these guys that I haven't put up, all these guys can, I can put in this set. I'm going to do this one more time because I still know for sure that some of these players are not profitable uh, by selling them on the auction house. That's what I know for sure. So we're going to go to news. Boom. And one more time. Yep. Looks good. And... Yeah, that is pretty much how you make your coins back. You want to then pull those packs and uh, put them up on the auction house because a lot of the times you're going to have a chance to pull, let's say, a power up and stuff of that nature. Let's see if I feel comfortable uh, sending some guys on here. Let's go to newest boom. Yeah, I want to sell him. I want to sell Kiko Alonso. I want to put this guy in. I want to put this guy in. Or do I want to put Dwayne Haskins in? That is for sure. I want to put Derek Barnett in. I checked him. Derek Wolf. Nah. Seth Roberts. Yep. Like that. And now I'm just going to pull one of those. Just want to see if I can get something. And then of course I'm going to sell that guy on the auction house. Desmond King. I appreciate you. That is a way to make coins. But the thing with those 80 to 82s. It is more high risk. Um, lower risk are the ones if you want to exchange for if you want to exchange to get these 95s to uh, 97s actually there we go um that is lower risk so i'm gonna pull these two and then i'm gonna sell everything and then i'm calling the video because this video has been very long devin bush he might actually go for some because devin bush is a very good card um another gold written cold quit all right we'll we'll see we'll see probably punish uh need for the team team but i'm not sure how is that how desired the Vikings theme team is not gonna lie so just search my news you always want to make sure to check the prices before putting them on the block that 
makes sense because this guy right here, all right, he's just he doesn't mind. So we're gonna look because we know this down. We know that 82s to 83s sell for 4,200. We don't want to put them up for less than that. So I'm gonna put them up for 4,000. 100. We're gonna be generous. It's Christmas. We're gonna be generous. We're gonna give him 100 coins. The guys wanna buy. The guy wants to buy him. So we're gonna search for Devin Bush, and then we're gonna go. Gonna search for Green Coquit. All right, 1,100. Whatever. Yeah, might have lost some coins, but I like to take the chance. This method is so low risk. You can, you can go for stuff like that. It might not be the smartest move to exchange, but that's what I do. All right, that's what I do. Sometimes you get lucky, sometimes you don't. Sometimes you don't. I feel like I'm talking. All right, and now we get 3,600 coins. I feel like I'm talking like uh, Dica DiCaprio when he's talking to his wife in uh, Wolf of Wall Street. If I can find that clip, I'm gonna put it in. Um, 3,050, all right, perfect. Sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. You know how it goes. But yeah, that's the video. Sorry, I'm recording all this in OBS. I'm not gonna make a single edit. Appreciate you taking time. Until the next time, where I'm gonna show you kind of an advanced way of making coins when you have a little bit more. Like you can see, I have 400 coins. That's not, uh, 400,000 coins. That's not that amazing. But it's a little bit more if you guys have that kind of coin stack. I'll give you some tips on what to do then. I appreciate you taking for taking the time. I'm stumbling over my words. This was a long video. Goodbye.